Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. And today's subject is the EU referendum vote. I've got a spe couple of special requests in my comments on previous videos to do this one. As you have probably be aware, on the 23rd of June, the UK had a historic vote on whether we should stay a member of the European Union. The U European Union is comprises 28 countries, from the UK over to Sweden, down to the Czech Republic, Poland, and over to Portugal. There is a 72% turnout, and 52% of people voted to leave, and 48% voted to stay. The vote is not legally binding. And it's all gone a little bit messy. Scotland, which gets a lot out of the European Union, voted 65% to remain. 35% to leave. And the Scottish Nationalists there is the only united party. is determined to hold another independence vote. So, au revoir, goodbye to Scotland being part of the UK. Northern Ireland, which gets the most at the European Union per head at the UK, voted 6% to remain, but their political party is so fragmented, they will still be part of the UK. The big cities and London and the South East voted to remain, the rest of the country voted to leave. Our Prime Minister, Dave Cameron has resigned, but is staying on to the 2nd of September. The Labour Party is in absolute turmoil. And before I go any further, I say I've got very mixed feelings about the result, and I'll explain why. As I explained, Dave Cameron has resigned. There's going to be a leadership contest in the Conservative Party. Boris Johnson who led the Leave campaign, the Mayor of London, is favourite to win. However, the Conservative Party are 50-50 divided between staying and leaving. The top two, which are voted by MPs, then go to the party membership, and the winner gets all, an unelected Prime Minister. The Labour Party which is 90% pro-remaining in Europe and 10% leaving, it's totally at war. Not about staying or leaving, it's the conduct of their leader, Jeremy Corbyn. 172 MPs yesterday voted for him to go. Only 40 MPs supported him. Again, it's non-binding. Jeremy Corbyn has said, fuck off to them. I'm staying. Because under Labour Party rules, it's not the MPs that vote for the leadership. It's the members. And if Jeremy Corbyn goes on the ballot paper, the members of the Labour Party will probably back him. He's a teetotal, non-smoker, probably a Muslim, I don't know for certain, but he doesn't drink alcohol and he doesn't smoke. And that's said, I think. 180,000 people have joined the Conservative Labour Party since the last election, and I bet you a majority of them are Muslim, or politically correct, shall we say, and they love him. He's never held a senior post. In his life. He's never had a post. Even in the shadow cabinet. But. One good side. The nanny state of the late. That is the Labour Party. That they believe in. Will be kept at bay. The Liberals and the Greens. Both did lackluster campaigns also. But. They've only got eight and one MP each. UKIP are absolutely celebrating. 
But because the great con of our electoral system, and I'll give you some figures of the last election. Nine million people voted Conservative. They got 340 something seats. Seven million voted Labour Party. They got 240 seats or thereabouts. Four million people voted UKIP. They got one seat. And how it works in the UK, winner takes all. It's divided into 650 constituencies. So you could come second in every constituency in the UK, which UKIP did in a lot of cases, and not get uh, many MPs. Only if you won the area. The SNP, who got around about 1.5 million votes, got 54 seats because their votes are concentrated only in Scotland. Okay, the number one topic throughout this debate has been immigration, and the Labour Party has let down the working people, Great Britain, for years, ever since they let. Poland and the various other countries come in with full freedom of labour. I get out of bed for £10 an hour. A poll will get out of bed for the minimum wage at £7.50 and I'm not being racist at all. A Romanian will get out of bed for £5 an hour cash in hand. But they probably won't because they're too busy sponging off the benefit system. Because our benefit system is quite generous. Now, in the short term, there probably won't be an election till 2018. Because I don't think the powers to be who control government will allow an election with the two divided main political parties. The pound is going to fall. It's making me weep as I speak to you. It was 1.35. Now we're down to what, below 1.20 against euro. It'll soon be 1 to the 1 on the euro. There's going to be short job losses in the short term. And the best thing of all, laugh out loud, is the migrants will keep on coming. The EU will make Britain pay for leaving. They're going to give us unfavourable terms to stop any other country from even thinking of doing the same. France, led by Ms Le Pen, Le Front National, has already said she, if she wins the election next year in France, wants to do a referendum. Holland, the most popular political party there, in the opinion polls, has already said they want a Dutch referendum next year when they have their election. And so the EU is going to teach the UK a lesson. And put up tariffs and make it extremely complicated for us. Long term. We're going to get a stable economy one day. We've got our independence back. Fuck you, the EU. There won't be any more European Union r rules, but we've got enough haters and health and safety campaigners to ensure nothing will ever go back. As in, standardised packaging, that is UK law. That will not be reversed. And that's just one example. For smokers, we'll be down to 200 cigarettes every time we go abroad, not 800, because we're outside the European Union. Even if we join EFTA, the European Free Trade Organisation, which Norway is a member of, Iceland, Switzerland, it will still remain 200, because in those countries, and I have checked, you can only bring in 200 cigarettes at a time. 
even between each other. And of course, no new immigrants, but it's like closing door, the stable door after horses have bolted. All existing immigrants here, their claims will be honoured. Thousands and thousands of Poles, Polish men, are claiming for their children who live in Poland, child benefit. And the UK pays it because it's cheaper to do that than for them to bring their children over to the UK and we have to pay for their education, health care, etc. If I went to Poland, I don't think I'd get child benefit for my children, if I had any, in the UK, for instance. So, it would stop new immigration. But, on the other hand, the French might stop uh, immigration controls at Calais in retaliation. Well, Mr. Holland, anyway. And certainly Ms. Le Pen, because she puts France first. Yes, she's staying his shoulder and shoulder to us saying we must leave. But at the end of the day, she wants those immigrants shipped somewhere out of France. And they all want to come to the UK. Thanks God we're not part of the Skivision Agreement. And that's why they've all ended up in Sweden and Germany. And you don't tell me they go to Sweden for the climate or the jobs. They go there for the social system, social security system. And benefits. So mixed feelings. Great about the immigration being controlled and the independence. Bad about the 800 cigarettes going. How the EU, the European Union is going to punish us to stop other countries leaving. One glimmer of hope. I can not promise you this. From 20 21 mental cigarettes are going to be banned in Europe. Flowered ones are already banned except mental. The UK might, and is we're talking less than five percent chance, say fuck the EU, we're still going to allow mental cigarettes to be sold here. They're being standardized packaging, minimum of 20. For a tax reason, people come to the UK, pay our prices for mental cigarettes. Otherwise, an uncertain future. They're not going to change the law about standardised packaging or the minimum amount which you can buy, which on all new packs is 20 cigarettes or 30 grams of rolling tobacco. So that's been my view on the EU referendum. The time now is quarter to five on June the 29th, as events will probably supersede this video. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on the EU referendum down below and your thoughts and comments would be appreciated. Stay lit guys and thank you for watching.